Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to our Wake Up and Makeup. I am Heather and we come to you live each and every day. Every day, Monday through Friday. We are here for you guys. So yeah, that's all. Like, that's all you need to know. We're here. Um, so we are here for you guys. We I'm moving some stuff around so I can see both my my um uh, chat. But we are here for you guys each and every day to learn about Luminous, to learn how to airbrush to answer your questions maybe you're new to luminous you have a system and you're like okay what do i do with it now or maybe you um are interested in it maybe you've seen it you've heard about it you've whatever you know you're like i want to look like that and do less makeup wear less makeup and look flawless and not ruin my face yes Luminous can do all that for you. Um, but that's this is a way for you to um, see it being done, ask questions, no smoke and mirrors here. We're like, obviously, we're, we're real, uh, up close and personal. And uh, we do, we're we here for you guys. So if you do have any questions, if there's products you want to see, let me know and we will jump in on that for you. Hello, Martin and Veronica. Oh, I have two Veronicas today. Hello, Veronica and Veronica. How are you? How are you? Hey, Muzi, good to see you. Good to see you, uh, Jacque and Martin. And hello, Rhonda, how are you? Good morning, Luminous. Hello, Stephanie on YouTube. So guys, just real quick, I always like to touch on this. I'm watching, we're on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. I have chats on both. Um, if I always like to say hi to you. So always say hi to me. I always will say hi, like call you out. Um, on, by name. If I miss you, if I miss a question, type it in again. Chances are I probably didn't see it. Um, so just know that. Hello, Jeannie. What is, um, Teresa's already, she was like, Hey, let's get down to business. Um, Teresa is asking best for full coverage. Teresa, we're going to talk about that. Cause that's what I'm going to use. Hold on. I'm getting it out right now. Not that one. Let's use this one and this one. And where's my, um, uh, our best full coverage is going to be the Rose Foundation or Mystic. Rose is our newer full coverage foundation. It has anti-aging properties in it. It has your moisturizer primer, all of that, but it does give you medium to full, full coverage, okay? Um, good morning, good morning. Um Yep. Oh, Bethany, you sweet girl. I know you're tired. And you're not feeling too tired. Yay. Hello, Patsy. How are you? Mary? Did I say hi to Mary? If I, I might say hi to you twice because I just want to make sure. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and get started. We always like to go over the basics. We always like to go over the beginning because I want you to know what's in your kit, what to expect, especially if you're ordering a kit, if you're looking to order a kit. We want to make sure you know what you're ordering. So, bam, just kidding. Bam. <laughs> this is one of our starter kits. This is the Icon. We also have the Icon Pro, the Legend, and of course now the Breeze. And the Breeze is our cordless one. It's chargeable, and that's the one I'll use today. But this is the Icon. This one is amazing. All of our systems are amazing. But guys, look, it does come with makeup. It comes with two large bottles of foundation. It comes with love and blush. Now, you might be asking, well, why do I need two? Well, this is your starter kit. So this is what you're going to use to practice, to get to know the system, to get to use it, to utilize it, to understand the joys of airbrushing. So we give you enough makeup so you can practice. Hello, Amber. How are you, baby? Um, and then once you get it, bam, this is what boop, boop, we want you to do. Get it out, practice, take that stylus and turn it on, move that air across your face. You're going to keep it four finger widths away from your face. This is the perfect distance to get a flawless application. When you first start, you might want to bring it in or you might want to just use the air wherever you feel the air is where the makeup's going to go. Then put water in here and airbrush water on your face by lightly pulling back on that trigger. That way it's fun. You're not having to get to makeup yet and just airbrush that water. You want to airbrush the water on your face 
so it's not running and dripping down your face. That is how light you're pulling back. And I, I do one-on-one, -on -one, if you look in the descriptions, I do one-on-one -on -one, uh, consultations. And nine times out of 10, guys, that's what I'm telling people, pull back less. Well, it kind of feels, I'm pulling back really light, but it, it feels sticky on my face. Pull back less. The answer is always pull back less. When I tell you, I, and I know this, because guys, I know this goes against everything we've learned up until, the, up until this point. It's different. We have to retrain our brains in thinking luminous and thinking airbrushing and not traditional makeup. So make sure you do it. Chantal, is that the new name today? Oh, my rose gold. Yes, the rose gold look. Well, today we are doing a professional look and we're going to talk about that. Like it takes, good morning, Brenda. Hello. It doesn't take, I think even before there's some misconception, misconception, whatever that word is, about airbrushing and like, oh, I'll only do it for special occasions or, you know, I'll do it, but it takes longer. And no, guys, no and no and no, no, no. You should be airbrushing every single day, every day. If you're like, oh, well, Heather, I don't wear, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I don't, airbrush is perfect for you. If you're like, oh no, but I like to have some makeup on every day. Airbrush is perfect for you. It does all of that. Days that I don't want to wear a lot of makeup, I airbrush. Days that I'm like, boom, 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 mm, 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 I airbrush. It doesn't matter because airbrush is going to give me whatever coverage I want for that day. And if you're doing it every day, it's going to take you less time. It goes back to the thing of it's going to take you a little bit of time to get used to it. And a little bit of time, I'm like, a couple days. A couple days. That's it. All right. Yes, Sarah. Air, airbrush our day. Air day. All right. So I'm going in to for a professional look today. I have a jacket on. I'm going to be professional. I scream professionalism. So I am going in and I'm going to lightly powder just a light dusting all over. Uh, Martin ultra is not full coverage. That's going to give you um, about medium light to medium coverage. Okay. Need to fix the hair. Um, now I lightly powdered to help control any shine, any, and then it, it really does step it up. So if I'm wanting to look professional, wanting to look bam all day long, bam, that's the word of the day, bam, word of the day, word of the day. All right, now I am going to go in and use my CC concealer, and we love this journey for you. We love it. Ew. <laughs> I did watch it last night, by the way. Martin loves mystic. I love my professional journey for me. All right. I'm going to put a couple of drops right into my breeze and the breeze, the foundation wells right there, close it up, turn it on. There's air that comes out. I'm going to do my lids. Now underneath my eyes, <laughs> it's bam with makeup, not cooking, making my passes on those areas that I know I need to cover. And I'm just going to go through and use the drops of my CC concealer. Now the CC concealer is starting my coverage starting that coverage. So I don't have to cover it a hundred percent because I am going to go in and use the ro the, um, the rose foundation, which is what medium to full coverage, right? Oh, here's some tissue. <laughs> Bethany, you are not, Bethany said her old is showing. I don't believe it. Ugh. I don't believe it. All right, I'm gonna, I think I put more than the three drops, so I'm just gonna blow the rest of that out real quick. 
I wasn't paying attention. All right, so now, now I'm gonna go in and do my rows. So I'm gonna go in and take rows four and one, shade three, shaking it up. Make sure you shake all of us, all, all of us up. Make sure you shake them all up. Anything airbrush, you're gonna want to shake. So there's that pigment and everything gets mixed together. Turning my system on. Now I'm gonna go in, making my passes, even my breeze. I'm holding four finger widths away. I keep moving. Going around and around and around. Brandy says, I have a question. Got my rose gold one in November. It's blowing air, but not product anymore. What can I do? So Brandy, my first question would be, are you cleaning it every single day? The other thing I would recommend is uh, take a coffee mug, fill it with warm water from the sink, plop your stylus in just like that. And then make sure the water covers here. Um, then let that soak for an hour or so or the day, you know, like if you're just doing it and you got to run out, you can do it, um, you know, for the day and then see how that helps. Um, or, you know, see if that helps with it. You can also break it apart to clean out the needle. And we do have videos online, but you can always call customer service and they will walk you through that. Um, if it's just blowing air, chances are the needles clogged or, or, you know, there's makeup on the needle, but you have to clean it every single day. Guys, you can't airbrush without this. Okay. So this is, you do want to take care of this and to clean it, you're going to blow water. You put warm water through here, blow it out till it runs clean. You can also purchase the tip top cleaner right here. And I do that about every other day every second day but you have to clean it um peggy asked do you feel like you have as much control with the breeze as you do the stylus peggy i i feel and you know me guys i answer truthfully i feel i get more control with my stylus meaning eyes so if i was doing if i was just going to do like all over with my um with the breeze no problem if i'm doing something in my crease I'm going to want my stylus. Okay. But as far as the blush, foundation, uh, contouring, everything else I can do with this. So that's just my opinion. Um, I, I need to probably try it with the, but yeah, I mean, you have, you definitely have control in both of them. But if it's going to be really detailed, like right here, I don't know. Let's try. In fact, never mind. I'm a, let's try. I'm going to try that just to see how how it works. Because you got to try it, right? All right. So foundation on, and now I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is in our click and play, which this is ginger. And again, I'm I'm keeping that professional look. So. I'm going to do this in my crease and it's kind of a medium. It's almost my, maybe a little bit darker than my skin tone. So not very dramatic, not very, um, you know, just very subtle. Keeping it subtle, keeping it real. You know what? Ooh, about to sneeze up in here. Um, let's. What color is that? Uh, what color is this? Where's my nine? Because I want to try that. Oh, here it is. Okay. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Try new, daring things. New year, new us. Amen, sister friend. All right, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to see. I'm, gonna, I'm using um, shade nine in the, it's just a foundation, silk. Hey, Candy, how are you? Candy with K. All right. So 
So let's see. Okay, I have shade nine. And I'm going in to do some eyes. Nope, I feel like you can do it. No, you can do it. I lied. I lied. You can. Just kidding. <laughs> so, yes, you can do eyeshadow with the breeze. You can do it all with the breeze. Oops. So, yep, you can do everything you can do. So, there you go. Now we know. Now we know. All right. So put it in a coffee, but warm water to the trigger point. To yeah, where it cover not not necessarily trigger, but where it covers the bowl. So where it covers this, and let that soak. And because what happens is our our makeup is water and mineral based, and so when you're doing that in a coffee mug, it it's letting all the makeup gravity. It's letting all the makeup soak down and, and remove out of your sauce. If that doesn't work, then you're going to have to uh, take the needle out and just clean the needle. But that's what I would do first. All right. So this is ginger. Ginger. That I just put in my crease. I kind of mixed it with that shade nine um, that we did as a test. Okay. So as a professional look. Same thing. I mean, obviously you're not going to soak it, but the breeze you're going to put, let me blow this out real quick. Well, let me show you afterwards because I'm going, well, I'll show you right now because I'm going to still use it. I'm putting a little bit of tip top cleaner in there. Um, you can do water. Obviously I don't have a sink right now. Um, so you can do water. You can do, you want to do water and then do the tip top cleaner every other day, every couple of days. So I'm just blowing the rest of that product out. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't like to say hot water, Jeannie, just because people are like, I boiled water. Please don't boil water and put your stylus in there. Just you can do hot, warm water from the sink. All right. So now I'm just blowing the rest of this out. And you can even take like a, um, a, a, a whatchamacallit, a um, Q-tip, kind of stir it around in there. I find with the breeze, when cleaning the breeze, if you back bubble a little bit, it helps too. So if I go back and do, let it bubble up a little bit. And that's just blocking the air and then pulling back on the trigger. Now I'm just blowing the rest of that out. I dump that so we can speed this along. Okay, now clean. All right, so now, now that I have, I only have one color on my crease, keeping it professional, you would think, well, let's just stick to neutral colors. Let's. But, you know, there's a wild side to us professionals sometimes. And so I'm going to take the blue, I mean blue, purple and iris in our click and plays and just add a dab right on the lid. Just a little. A little dab will do you. And then I'm just going to tap that in. Tap it, 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 tap it. I'm just, I'm, I'm pushing that line. I'm pushing that line. Oh, awesome. Pat, um, Patsy said that she cleans it with tip top every time. And have you ever had any issues with it clogging or sputtering or anything, Patty? Patsy? Now I'm going in with the nude palette. And I'm going to use the dark brown and probably a little bit of the charcoal. So mixing those two together. 
and boop, 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 right in my crease. I'm like, somebody's phone's ringing because I can hear it. <laughs> I'm making you want to watch Adam Sandler movies. Oh, that's funny. All right, so I'm gonna go in and create and dun, 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 dun. all right. So I put the little bit of right there, and now I just I have my tissue. Do, 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 do. Angela says I love my breeze. However, it seems to use more foundation than Icon Pro. It's actually Angela. You just at first it might seem that way, but watch that. I don't honestly. With that one, it's easy to pull down on that trigger too far. Just make sure, because I don't think there's really a way to overspray with that one. And so just watch how far you're pulling back on that trigger. Because that happened to me as well. And so I just have to be more cautious on how far I'm pulling back. All right, so I'm going here. And there we go. You can wear purple and still look professional. But you have to stop like that. You can look professional. Now I'm going in and I'm going to take that nude palette. And with that same color in my that outside crease, the charcoal and the dark brown, I'm going to line underneath. Okay, bam. Now, I am going to take a little bit of powder because I've already applied my um, um, concealer and my foundation. If there's any fallout underneath here, I can swipe it away with some loose powder and it won't mess up underneath. Although I think, uh, blah, 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 blah. let me see it. I might have messed it up a little. So I'm going to go in and kind of sweet, sweet. Now it's fixed. All right. There we go. All right. So now I'm taking, I have been using the cut one. I mean, cut two, but today I'm going to be using the cut one for my contouring. Taking my brush, I'm swimming all of them. Deanna, there are different airbrushes. We have the Icon. We have the Icon Pro. We have the Breeze. And we have the Legend, which I don't have that one here. Um, and so it just depends on what you would like. The Breeze is our newest one. It is oh, Hola, Alice. Um, it is cordless chargeable. Um, the icon's amazing. It's, you can travel with it. It's small. It's beautiful, but check them out. And then remember on face, uh, or I do, uh, one-on-ones on, uh, every day we're here to do lives. Um, so if you have any questions, you can ask away. So now I'm going to take a little bit of the lighter color, swipe it underneath to give me a little bit more oomph, highlight underneath my eyes a little bit. And then shake, shake, shake. I'm going to do blush. Now, sometimes I do blush first before my foundation. So it blends it out because our blush is super high pigmented, meaning it does bloom. So it does come out. You only want to use a drop at a time. You'll only want to use like two drops basically for both cheeks. Ah, that is it. All right. So now I have, I'm using plum blush aiming. I've already done contouring. So I'm going to aim it at the apples of my cheeks and I smirk and I make my movements first before pulling back on the trigger.
And there we go. Look at that. So when doing blush after the foundation, you do want to make sure that don't go overboard. Get it to the point where you almost love it and then stop and then stop because it will intensify. It will come out. So shh, slow your roll with the blush. All right. Now I'm now going to take dusty rose. <laughs> oh, awesome. Awesome, Deanne. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go in with Dusty Rose. Oh, ugly. It is not heavy. It, the makeup feels so light, so nice on the skin. Even if you like full on coverage, it's not going to feel heavy or cakey. Deanna, are you an airbrush makeup artist or an airbrush artist? Like, do you paint with airbrush? Because they even use some of these. They use airbrushing for cakes, for everything now. It does, uh, Martin, that's right. It does feel like skin. Angela, Angela Chestnut lip liner on your skin tone would be great. Going in and lining the loops. I had a little bit of the lip jelly on. So you paint with it. That's awesome. So you'll have a better understanding of what it does. But in regards to makeup, you are pulling back super light. All right. And I love that for you. All right, so now I did my lip, um, the Dusty Rose lip liner. I'm going in with my staple, my go-to, my everyday, love it, can't live without it, ballet pink, vinyl slick, liquid lipstick. This is an amazing... I'm going to powder just a little. Yes, Angela. So true. So true about the mask. So, yes, you can wear purple and still be professional. You don't have to make it where it's like the focal point. It's like, oh, just wait. Does she have purple on? It can just blend right in. And then I will finish off with some lashes, which I forgot to get. Wait, do I have some here? Let me see, because <laughs> I forgot to get them. Oh, it. I don't have them. Oh, no. Um, so I'm going to go put lashes on. <laughs> I am going to use our Lash Lure um, lashes. And I can use them in natural glam. I think all of ours are amazing. The Diva I really like because they're small on the inside and then it flares out. The natural or natural looking. The um, glam have like it's thicker or yeah, kind of thicker or longer in the middle. About to sneeze. Okay. And, um, and they, they're all amazing. So I have to see which one I'm going to wear today. Finishing it off because I, yes, airbrush makeup lasts 17 to 18 hours, but let's say, Hey, you know, it's getting hot outside again, or just for, you know, like if you, if we talk about heat, I'll start sweating. So I am wearing a jacket today. If I want to make sure it stays in place, 
all of that. Um, thank you, Mary. I'm using final seal and oh, this one just squirted out wrong. It like squirted me. All right, well, hold on. Let me hold it far, far away. If you haven't tried this, guys, this is amazing. This has, um, it, it, you just dust it on like, uh, spray it on, and it's going to make you basically waterproof. You are not going to have to worry about anything, anything. So it will stay in place. So there you go. Everybody's loving the look. I like it. I like it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. As I Um. All right. Final seal is my, one. I love how it smells. This smells divine. Divine. It has like a coconut, maybe. I don't know, but it smells amazing. You'll want. You'll want it just for the smell. And plus, it's kind of refreshing too. So, all right, guys, thank you very much. I'm going to go put on my lashes and finish my look. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And guess what? We're going to be back here tomorrow. We are here for you guys each and every day. And what's tomorrow? What is tomorrow? What would tomorrow be? Anybody know? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, Brandy, they're the same thing. Same thing. Same thing. One just goes through the airbrush. I just like this one. Um, but what would tomorrow be? Anybody? Anybody? What's tomorrow? My birthday. We just might have to do a giveaway. So come on back. Come on back. Yeah, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. So come on back and we're going to have fun tomorrow. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I might do something wild and crazy. Like a natural look. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great one. Bye for now.